Hello guys, Sean Thompson here, welcome back to episode 3 of our Farming Simulator 2022 series. In the last episode we of course got rid of the straw loft and converted over to this big massive bit of kit which of course makes these bales here. Without further ado, let's not talk too much about that, let's get on to today's, I'm going to say mission. So first off we need to empty all the silage out here and basically what we're going to do is make as much total mixed ration as possible with the mixer over here and then tip it into the cow barn. As you can see, we're sitting at half capacity for food. And then the leftover stuff we can actually put into this baler and supposedly it can make total mixed ration bales. Judging by the fact, go along to balers. And then you can see here, that is the logo total mixed ratio, I believe. Could be wrong. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and set this Massey Ferguson away on its way to do some cutting of the silage over another field. And then after that, we'll go and pick up with the forage wagon, turn it into silage. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. Now, I believe this tractor can do it. All right, so that's him away working, so we can send him on his way and then get on with our mission. And hopefully, once he's done, then we'll be done. Let's jump back into the big John Deere and start making some total mixed ration, of course, with the bales and the silage. Let's get started. Try and make this as quick as possible. I'm wondering what to do with this mana too as well after. We may not actually need it. It's just for picking up bales. We shouldn't need the whole kind of shovel set up. I would like that, that third tractor back. I'm not going to lie to you. Perfect. One more bucket and then we can get on to grabbing some bales. All right, we'll get bales looked out. I wonder if we can grab the two of them at the exact same time. Something tells me it'll f tip this mana too. Oh, 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 oh. Slow and steady. Oh, now how do we drop it? Oh, oh, oh lovely! Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Um, how do we recover that one? I don't think we do. We just start from the beginning. All right, perfect. That's the first one done. Though I think we know, maybe, I think we could have used a little bit more straw. We've still got a straw bale in there, but anyways, we'll get this off loaded and get on to the next batch. All right, so that is that all full. I don't know why it's giving us 5,000 litres of hay, but now I believe we should be able to offload the rest of this into this machine here. And it should make total mix ratio bales. Whether that works or not is a completely different story. Can this run it? Nah, it can't. Bugger. Get this over here, and we're going to need to get that other tractor back pretty quick. He's almost done anyways. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, perfect. We offloaded the wrong side there, but that's something we can sort. That should hopefully fill that up, and then we should be able to make bales. Let's set this over here now. So we can run the machine with the power off the John Deere. And that should start making his bales. First one is just coming out and out. Well, like a hay bale, I'm not going to lie. Let's see what it goes into the shed as. Mm, it just goes in as a hay bale. That is a bit sh It just becomes a bale of hay. Even though it's... Well, that is annoying. How it just changes back to hay bale. But uh, I will, will, will empty the load we've got here. All right, so we're just going to leave the uh, silage problem now and focus on the new set of silage. So without further ado, let's get this done. Let's get it bailed, wrapped. We can worry about the other silage another day. It's no rush to get rid of the silo. We're not in a rush to get rid of it, so we can just focus on other things and enjoy a bit of farming rather than stressing about what we're doing with last year's silage. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm buzzing for this. Just to see the wrapping working well. So we've seen the baler work, but it'd be nice to see the wrapper work. Oh, don't tell me it doesn't take fucking grass. Imagine. There we go. Right, offload the grass. This is the only downside is the fact you need a tractor to run it. It'd be nice if it kind of ran itself. I don't know if maybe the bigger one does that. Here we are, so we've got to drop that Go around here. Power the trailer. I've seen a wrapper work before, but just, you know, you better kit. Quite like to see it work. What the fuck is going on? Did it just make another hay bale? It's fucking grass. Right, we need to pull this out of here. I don't understand why it's just making fucking hay all the time. There we go, now it's making silage bales. Alright, so the automatic drop doesn't work with silage bales. But there we go, at least it's making them now. Just slowly move this, I think. I don't think I can fold it with all that stuff on there. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Nothing goes to plan. Alright, let's continue on. Thank you. 
All right, so that's the end of day two of this episode. We just quickly tidied up the farm a bit and finished off the bale and all that jazz. Kind of tidied everything up. We still got the silage. We went and delivered the milk. We got a good few couple of pallets ready for sale our next day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We can turn the baler off just to save fuel. On to the next day. All right, first things first. We're going to go ahead and get the cedar on this and get the barley planted straight off the bat. And then we can work on other things. First off, though, I think we're going to get a bit of selling done today as well. I feel like this, uh, this farm's just been a lot of buying and not, not a whole lot of income. Like, don't get me wrong, we've had, you know, a couple of straw bales and, you know, a little bit of silage and, and stuff like that that we've sold over the time. But we've not really had a proper, proper payday yet. And obviously, we can't sell the barley till December. September is meant to be the best time to sell, I believe, butter. So we'll get that loaded up in a pallet and, uh, and get it sent off on its way. And hopefully, it makes a good little bit of cash because it's about time we've seen a payday here on the farm rather than just spending aimlessly on sh**. But you know what I mean. But we'll send a worker on to do this seeding. I can't seed for the life of me. I think it's honestly the most boring job in this game. We have folk like this. Workers, hard workers, that will do the job for us. Let's double check the store, make sure there's nothing nice for sale. We do have that exact setup. That'd be quite a nice purchase, but, uh, ooh. That is sexual. Do I really need... Oh, it's just a trailer for you to, for you to transport different types of crops. I mean, your spreader. I mean, that's, that's tidy. We can sell the class. We can sell that class. How much is our class worth? Sell that class for 15 grand and buy that back. And that's like a big bin. Fucking lot of gear in. Ah, it's just more spending, isn't it? Here, we'll quickly grab the milk for today, which is roughly, again, a bit the same as always. 4,500 litres a day, which isn't bad. Uh, we can do it a little bit more, but... Uh, you know, that's what it is. I wonder about this. That's not going to link up, is it? Bugger. That'd have been so cool if we could have road trained this. Just do the important stuff first. All right, that's how the milk dropped off. Now let's pick up the uh, the goods. All right, so we're just taking the butter, and this looks like the butter pallets here. This is obviously the cheese. So we're leaving them ones. We're only grabbing the butter. Let's get into that. Grab that one. Looks like we can grab two at the same time. Hopefully we can double stack them as well on the actual machine. There we go, another two on. Nice and easy. We'll leave the cheese for now. We'll just grab the last butter one. Cheese isn't really high, uh, isn't ready for sale until January. To be fair, so is a butter. I just like a bit of money back in the bank account. I could probably just put the cheese on while I'm here. Eh? There we go. Oh, nice and lovely. We'll park this back up on here. Saves us having two fort lifts. I could just get a front loader for the front of the John Deere, but plus it all fits on quite nicely, doesn't it? Right, let's get this unfolded and all tied up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's get it down to the fast food restaurant. Shit, the bed. This is less than ideal. Come on, come on. Get over. Ah, oh, so fucking close. Ah, I'll be away to get us back on its fucking feet, man. <laughs> right, let's try something else. Let's try just doing the Manitou. Oh no, we can't because the Manitou overhangs the fucking pallets. There we go, there we go. Come on, there we go, there we go. Yes. Let's get back to the sale shop. I think the height's maybe too high just with that Manitou, but all right, let's get a sold time buzzing. I hope there's a good bit of cash in this. Otherwise, oh, I've just made a cunt of ourselves, haven't we? Should all start selling. Oh, I think I need to unloosen it. I need to be right on the little bit. It's a bit of cash coming in there, by the way. 15 grand. No, oh. <laughs> it's not a whole lot of money when you think about it. Considering the setup of this farm and all the work and the operation and all that shit. And we get 15 grand every, what, four or five months? Oh, shit, that bed, man. <laughs> this might not work out because of that. <laughs> well. Uh, make some more total mix ratio and just keep feeding the cows.
Right, and there we have it for today's episode. That is us officially done. Of course, we managed to do quite a lot. We got a couple of silage cuts in. As you can see, we now have 63 silage bales, 9 straw bales, and of course, 22 hay bales. So we need to work on the hay and the straw in the next episode. As you can see, barley is planted, the other field has been cut and rolled, and then of course turned into silage. I still of course got the silage in here, I think, come January time at peak silage selling times. We might sell um, maybe 30 or 40 bales here, just to get a little bit more money back in the bank account. There is obviously a lot of money in silage, uh, plus we've got all this to go through anyways for the cows, so they're not really going to be touching the silage in the shed so far because there's still about 60,000 litres of silage here. As you can see as well, the cows are looking good, nice and healthy, still uh, almost at their peak uh, puberty stage. Uh, we need a little bit more straw as well. Straw is really worrying me. If you imagine we've got nine bales in there still and we need it for our total mixed ra ration, we also need it for the beds in here. So I think we might need to talk about expanding our straw operation rather than just what we've got here. Whether we do contracts and then take, uh, like if we do like harvesting contracts where obviously there's potatoes or let's say that was just wheat. If you imagine we did a contract for wheat, all that straw is left on the ground anyways. So we could hopefully take that for ourselves. So that's pretty much it for today's episode. Again, I do apologise. I've bit my tongue and it's just been really, really horrible just trying to record. It's like properly painful. I keep rinsing my mouth out with uh, Corsidol. Um, but I do apologise, I hope you can't really tell the difference, I'm hoping. But anyways, thank you all for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in episode 4 of our Farming Simulator 2022 series. Goodbye.